Hello guys, and today we're going to be doing part 3 of how to 3D model a low poly van in Blender. Now, basically, we're done with the modeling, so we need to start doing the texturing and make wheels also. And so, yeah, make sure to like and subscribe so you do not miss any of my content. Um, I post, I try and post every day on my channel, and so without further ado, let's get into it. Also, if you get any of these videos in this series, three likes, I will do a topology video in Blender, okay? So make sure to hit that like button because I want to do that video for you guys. Now, you can see they have the van, and it looks pretty nice. All the way up into here, it has like a lot of, you know, low poliness, and it looks a bit weird over here. And we can fix that very, very easily by right clicking and hitting shade smooth. Now you may think, King, that's a horrible disaster. What did you just do? Well, this does look horrible right now. But if we go to this triangle tab right here, this thing that shows three dots making a triangle, and we go to normals, and under normals, click auto smooth and keep it at 30. You can see, guys, this looks way better. Um, it actually looks smooth on there. And we keep our sharp edges. So, personally, this is actually really good to do. Um, so, we can lose that kind of super low poly look. And we still have our topology that we have, so we can easily edit it like that. Um, if we needed to. But, anyways. Now that we lost all of that a little bit. You can see that looks a bit weird right here. It has a bit of weirdness but it's okay it's not if you texture a model it's not really going to be seen so if we go into material preview you'll see that we have no materials on the van at all whatsoever now if you look at the reference images or at the reference images you can see that there's um there's the color of the van this is an amazon truck amazon van so basically we're just going to do base materials. So if we go to the materials tab, hit new, and then I'll just call this blue. I'll just call it D blue for dark blue. Sounds a bit slang. Then we get our base color and then shift it to a blue. But then turn this down. So it looks more like an Amazon truck blue. And. Yeah, you want it like that, but we need it more dark. We need it like pretty dark. Let's let that, that looks kind of like Amazon there. Uh, as far as that color, okay. And we can look back at a reference image, and you can see kind of matches the color, but not really. So what we're gonna do not the subsurface. We're gonna do for the base colors actually make it a bit lighter. So it should be about this light, guys, because that actually matches up with the reference kind of well. I think the saturation needs to be taken out of it. So, if there's, if we, the roughness won't do that. So, if we, we need the saturation to go down. So, what we can do, the S in the HSV can just be turned down right here. And, boom. It looks much more like Amazon color, but as close as I think we're gonna get, uh, at least that I'm gonna get, you guys may know the exact color combination. And you can look up online the exact color combination for, um, for Amazon Prime Blue. But now that we have this, we need to texture it and put the Amazon Prime thing. So if we look back in a reference image, you can see it says Prime. And if we actually go to the other side, it says Prime. And you can see this smile right here. Now, and then there's all these details that are like black and stuff. So let's get to the details first before we move on to the Prime stuff. So the black parts, the parts that, are, that should be black. Now, first off, we need to make a new material in object mode. And then we would call this material. Uh, hold on. Just look at this. 
Oh yeah, and so then we could just call this material uh, dark gray. Dark gray D for dark gray detail. So, simply it's already white, we just need to make it gray now. And then we can just go into edit mode and select all the parts that need that uh, that need that detailing. So you can see the bottom part of the front bumper. Not only here, but the reference images actually show that the details need there. Then we can on top of that um, you need detail for that wheel well, and then we can select all this and select all this and then make sure to select this also um and yeah so now we can just since we're in edit mode we can select the dark gray detail color and hit assign as you can see, it's not dark gray, so we definitely need to turn that down more. So, yeah, it's, it's kind of right, but we actually need this dark. So, almost black, but not black. And then, actually, if we go into edit mode, you notice a detail on the truck in the reference image is you had this little poking that means there's more to the truck a bit that we didn't exactly model so what well, first thing I'm gonna do is uh, extrude I mean, hold up can we see what this does hmm That actually could work, kind of. Let's see. If we look at the truck from the side view, that actually looks good. Um, and then the trailer texture and stuff could be there. So yeah, that doesn't look bad. I think I'll keep that, and we'll we'll make a tail light thing. So for the tail lights, we'll have like a like a um. Kind of like a, you know, lighting texture. So, add a new material and call it tail light. And then, you want to go to emission and turn that up. And then on top of that, make it red. Then you want to make the base color the red. And then you want to hit assign and see how that looks. Also in the render tab, you might have turned on bloom to give more of a, give more of like a sensitivity. And you can turn the intensity up also in, in the render tab, in the render um, properties. And so that actually does not look that good for a tail light. So we'll, we'll just, um, Cause if you look on the other side, you can see that just does not look good. So we can simply just, oh crap, hold up. Yeah, so we will literally just, um, yeah, we'll just take that off and actually we don't need to do that. All we can do is go to edit mode and then just apply the blue again and select a different area for the tail lights. So I think to make a loop cut here we can't. Um Hey, well we can just assign the tail light like this. Actually that doesn't look bad. Yeah, that really does not look bad. Um we just need something on the, kind of something on the trailer too. We go to front view and then press 9. 
we can access the bat. And let's go to K for knife. And then just I'm just gonna take this and kind of make a kind of make a light out of it. Like stylized. Boom. Now we have another face to select. We can assign a tail light uh, material. And that actually looks way better. So yeah, that that that'll work for the tail lights. As far as the headlights, we get a front view. Now for the headlights, all you have to do is make a headlight material, and then. Low to your mission. Raise that up. Actually, <laughs> you can turn the emission strength up. And actually, you should do that for the head to for the tail lights too. You can turn the emission strength up to make it more to make it more glowy. And so, for the headlights, I turned it up to two point one, and then take the base cover it's already white so now we just need to go to edit mode select the faces for the headlight like that and select the headlight material and then hit assign boom you have that um and as you can see it doesn't actually look too realistic for headlights so what we can do is actually delete go to vertices select mode and delete vertices and then you can just select this and the f to fill it in again and that looks much more realistic and better in my opinion and so now for like a grill kind of thing that won't be hard also why in the Hold up. Shows like a overlapping vertex or something from there. I don't know. Maybe this is glitches. Yeah, I don't know what that glitch is. Anyway, don't focus on that. Now we need to focus on this grill part. So we can go to face select mode. Hit I to inset. Hit B to turn off boundary. And then, you can actually extrude that inwards a bit on the y-axis. On the y-axis, make a new material, make the base color basically black, and then, um, what was grill? Turn the roughness up, like, all the way. Uh, turn the, sh the sheen tint down, and then just assign the material. And it definitely looks like a real van. As far as the body colors, you can basically turn the roughness down to for that. And because we shaded it smooth, it actually looks like reflective how a body should. Now, the roughness should be necessarily all the way to zero, so I'll just turn it at 0 0.1. No, it should be as because it's a body paint color. So yeah, there we go as far as that. This is basically all the basically all the material thing we need to do as far as materializing the frick. Uh I'm very confused. Yeah, Blender is kind of being really weird. Okay, guys, so, basically, for this trailer texture thing, we can extrude that inwards, and scale it down a bit, and, are there any vertices that are just, like, weird? I don't know, it 
you go to x-ray, you'll see kind of when you're in a bit. Um, see, so yeah, Blender is being kind of weird. Or it's just me being kind of weird. Um, so we can just fill these in. Also, oh wait. Is that why? Because there's just birds and hanging in there? Is it? Come on, guys. I'm just trying to, like, fix these vertices um, as far as this. Oh, that was the problem, I, I think. Yeah, guys, that was the problem. So, yeah, um, for you and x yeah. See, that problem's gone, but now we can just fill in, uh, these. So, we select this, and then select this. Um, now, we have that. And, boo. Now we need to do the Amazon Prime texture part. We just have the color of the van, okay, we have the van. And so we don't need the Amazon logo. It was just something I was trying to do, but again, I, I don't know. It's so weird. Anyway, guys, now the last thing we need to do before we end the video is make the wheels. Okay, so let's do that. Um, by the way, I'm going to go to edit mode and uh, move something. That doesn't look right. So yeah, let's make the wheels. Just gonna open up the reference images back up. And so now we can hit Shift A, add mesh, cylinder, rotate, RX90 actually, and then R. Z90, and then scale it down and line it up with this wheel and scale it down until it's about the size of this wheel. Okay guys, so now that we have the wheels, we can just inset them like this, extrude them inwards like that, inset them like this, and extrude them outwards like that, and then just do these, select these right here. Add a new material, call it tire, and then base color black, and then make the specular none. The roughness, uh, the roughness needs to be all the way. The clear coat roughness needs to be none. And so yeah, on the tire like that, and then. What we need to do is make a new material and make it darker gray. And then we can make it a bit shinier. As far as the roughness will not be so much. Turn the specular down. Clear coat roughness can be some. And then, yeah, we can just select invert and then assign it and go to call this room. So there. This is a very simple room and the tire I believe should actually be um tire should have a specular bit to it so that looks like it's actually something as well as it should have a bit of a sheen. Just to give it to not make it look like void black. And then we simply can just duplicate this tire by going inside view and shift to D, Y, and then boom. Then we just scale the wheel down. And there we basically have our van. All we need to do is select these, add modifier, mirror, and it's going to only mirror one of them. And then just make the mirror object the van. And then, same for the back one, just add modifier, 
mirror the mirror object again and there you have basically the van the van's basically done and so all we need to do is go to edit mode on the van not the wheels and fill in the inside now we're not going to be modeling an interior so maybe that would be for a different video as far as a different car modeling slash van or whatever so we can just hit f on there and then basically make a windshield material like windshield and then you just turn the base color down make the roughness zero uh, make the sheen tint up clear coat roughness none and then assign it and now it actually looks like a windshield and then There, you kind of have that, but I would rather rather go to face select mode, select that face and delete it. And then basically what I do is go and take this right here. I just take this and we can just hit E and then control to snap. Actually, don't do that. Don't do that. Um, so what you should do. Um, oh, okay. So let me hit F once. So as far as this, you should just select these. Hit F, and then select this. Hit F, hit F. And then actually, what you should do is make a loop cut on the roof so that it's even with this cut. Then just hit F, then hit F, and then hit F. And now you have a bit better topology, but then also you have it not looking a bit weird, like deforming. And then also, you can just apply that same material to the window. So, if you just do that. And boom, guys. Basically, your van. And then, if you want to, you can fill in that. I'm not going to do that on video. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. I hope you enjoyed the video. And yeah, without further ado... Let's end it here.